the first thing you're going to need is pray. That's what peace stands for. Matthew chapter 26 verse 41. What does it say? Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. If you ain't praying and seeking the will of God, guess what? Your flesh is going to win. You ain't going to want to get up and accomplish nothing for the kingdom of God. Hey, listen, I'll give it to you. You can accomplish everything you're doing right now. You can have great things in your life. But do you have the will of God, the peace of God in your life? The second thing in the word peace is the letter E. Empty. We have to be people that empty ourselves. Philippians chapter 2 verse 17, it says, Yes, and if I am being poured out as a drink offering on the sacrifices and services of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you. This is Paul saying he rejoices that he's being poured out for the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The next letter is A, in peace, that is accept. This is why I was saying, you're going to have to accept the fact of where you're at. Accept it. It says there in Daniel chapter 6 verse 10, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home and in his upper room with his window open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave and thanks before his God, as was his custom since earlier days. You know what he did? He accepted the fact that the king signed a decree and he was found guilty for worshiping the king of kings. He accepted the fact that he was guilty for worshiping God. Send me to prison. Show me those lions. He accepted the fact that his destination, his outcome was going to be put in a hole with a bunch of cats. The next letter in peace is C. And that word means change. My pastor used to tell us this, change ain't change until you change. And change isn't when you believe you changed. Change is when other people see you change. You can tell everybody in the world you're changing, but everybody else who knows you saying, mm -mm. Ruth was a Moabite woman. She was worshiping Moabite gods. She was loving in a Moabite way. She was a sinful, wicked woman before they found her. But after spending time with her mother-in-law and her God and her savior, her life changed. And you, when you read the book of Ruth, especially for the women, I really encourage you to read it. It tells us in verse 16, but Ruth said, entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your God shall be my God. The last one is the letter E, endure. Are you enduring this stage of your life? Did you know that God tests our endurance? And endurance builds what? Character. See, endurance helps you to build the character you need to live godly. Because the only character you and I should be obtaining right now is the character of Christ. The Bible tells us that you and I should be more Christ-like. And if you ain't praying, if you ain't emptying yourself, if you're not accepting or changing or enduring, you're never going to find the peace. 